Nate from Richard's Guitar Studio, and today we're going to do Running Down a Dream by Tom Petty. So go ahead and open up the tabs, they're linked there, and uh, I'm going to refer to them as we go. So the first part there, you'll see letter A, um, and it says the first two measures go three times, and then there's like a couple of extra measures. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to learn this riff, and it's going to play four times. Uh, the reason there's an extra measure is there's like a, an extra tie there to a whole note, but uh, but the the idea is that you play the riff four times. So if you look at the tabs there, it's all on the low E string, and it's uh, I use these fingers. So you're gonna play open, and then third finger on seven, open, second finger on six, open, first finger on five, open, and then you're just gonna reach down and grab the third fret. And then open. So essentially, you have this blues scale from seven, six, five, three. Seven, six, five, three. And there's an open E in between each one, like this. Now you might notice I'm starting on an upstroke. That's because there's, there's an upbeat. So if you're counting one and two and three and four and, you actually start on the the end after one. So it's like if you were to count this in, it would be two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and like that. So by using the upstroke, you kind of can feel the rhythm uh, a little better. So that's the, the main riff there. Part B is the verse, and you have this kind of power chord here up on the seventh fret. It's open E, seventh fret on the A string, ninth fret on the D and G strings with the third and fourth fingers, power chord. And you have an open E, seven, nine, nine, and then an open B and open high E. So all six strings. All right. That rings for four measures. Then you're just gonna move this to the fifth fret, and you're not gonna play the low E for this one. You wanna to try to dampen it with the tip of the first finger. And you're gonna play five, seven, seven, open, open. Same chord, just slid down. And then you move back up. So what I'm doing here is I'm combining the, the two guitars, the, the rhythm and the lead. So this is sort of a rhythm guitar part. jump back and I play the, the lead riff like that so I'm trying to combine both parts um, to keep me playing as much as possible during the song you'll notice there in the uh, next line there measure 14 I have the three open from the riff and on top of that is this chord in parentheses the one that we learned there the reason it's in parentheses is because uh, it's the rhythm guitar part and the rhythm and lead parts like overlap there. So I'm just still playing the three open in place of this. So instead of going like that and like jumping back and forth, I'm just going to go while the other guitar is like playing that. So essentially on the next line, you're going to, um, well, from from part B, it's this chord, the 7th fret, and then the 5th fret, and back to the 7th fret. Then you have the riff. It goes on to the next line, measure 14, 3, open, and then you just wait for 4 measures, and then you're back to the 5th and 7th fret chord, and then this chord. And that brings you to the end of the verse. Right. Um, so it's kind of a com combining of both parts. Okay. So um, and I'm going to move quickly through this one. Uh, you know, you have the you know the cover video to check out. I'm going to demonstrate each part, and then uh, this should be a quick a quick win for everybody. Uh, letter C is the chorus. So we're going to start on a D5 chord. Open D, second fret on the G string, and then third fret. B string. Right. Third finger stays where it is, 
in order to get to the next chord of G5, and you're gonna reach with your middle finger to the low E string. The pad of the finger is gonna kill that A string. So if you play the A string, it should be dead. All right. D5, G5, then you have an E major chord. Open, two, two, one, open, open. Then the rhythm starts on an upstroke. You see that in the second measure of this, this part, the upstroke to, to keep going on the E chord. So it's like D, G, E, and then N, two, and three, and four. Follow, that follows through into the third measure of this part, part C. So it's... Then we trace back to G. And then we're going to move over to an A major chord. So open, two, 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 open. And I do that with one, two, and three. The reason is that I'm coming from this G5 chord. That third finger is going to slide back a fret, and then you can just line these up like that. All right. So if you're looking at the tabs, uh, the bottom line there, letter C, it sounds like this. Then on the next page, it's kind of a bad page turn, my fault. It's easier to print it out anyway. Um, you're gonna continue on that A chord, starting on an up, just like you did before with the E chord. And two, and three, and four, and, like that. Once you get through that, it just repeats right away. All right, so letter C with the repeat sounds like this. those three chords there tagged onto the end at page two, measure 26 and 27. Your D5, G5, E. All right. Then you're going to jump back and do your riff. All right. So basically that all that repeats, you know, letter B, C, uh, again. And then for the first like interlude bridge part, we go to uh, letter D. This part, you're gonna start on the this power chord, same thing we did before, but now on the third fret, A string, fifth fret, fifth fret, open, open, like that. That gets two whole notes, you slide up to five and seven, five, seven, seven, and then seven, nine, nine. That again, three five 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 seven seven. The next time you get up to seven and nine is when the next verse starts. So you're going to go back to part B. So it just runs right into part B. All right. So this first interlude bridge part is uh, letter D there, measure thirty one, and it sounds like this: three five 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 seven 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 nine nine three five five. Five, seven, seven. And then right back into part B. Okay. Then you're going to go back and do the chorus, and, and the chorus actually repeats. You end up doing two choruses. Uh, after that, it, you're, you're going to end with letter E, the outro guitar solo. This is just like the interlude, part D, except for you're going to repeat the 799 E chord up there. So it's going to go like this, 355, 577, 799, and then do this one again. And then 355, 577, 799, and again. And you just keep doing that while he shreds 
a E minor pentatonic solo there towards, uh, and, then it, and then it fades out, all right? Have fun with this one. There's only a few parts to it. Should be a quick win for you within hopefully a half hour or so. And uh, crank it up. Have fun with this. And we'll see you soon.